A History of Randsburg Technology and People. This presentation is to preserve a brief memory of Randsburg's people, facilities, processes, products, and significant patents using scavenged photos, slides, and documents. Prior to Randsburg's pioneering developments, paint was applied by dipping, brushing, or air spray. Methods which were all wasteful of paint, solvent, and or labor, as well as highly polluting. From the 1940s through the 1970s, Randsburg invented, patented, and profitably marketed many designs of electrostatic spray application equipment and systems. These are used worldwide to apply coating materials to various manufactured articles. Everything from automobiles to pen caps to water heaters. The Harper J. Ransburg Company, a manufacturer of housewares, was founded in Indianapolis, Indiana in 1911. The company moved to this old building in Indianapolis in 1924. The company's hand-decorated household accessories often required spray painting. Harper's three sons joined the company in the 1930s. Greg worked in sales while Harold and Edwin were in manufacturing. One of Harold's early tasks was paint spraying Ransburg products using typical air atomizing guns. He noticed how overspray wasted considerable paint and sought a method of attracting paint to the metal kitchen canisters. The search led to the invention of patented electrostatic painting processes and the establishment of a separate multi-million dollar multinational company. Here are sample Ransburg products. Harper J. Ransburg seated in front row and wearing a jacket, is flanked by his sons, Harold, third from left, and Ed in this 1944 photo of the Ransburg Electro Coating Division staff. Emory P. Miller is third from the right, front row. Harold P. Ransburg at work in his primitive lab in the 1940s. His father allowed him to work here on Sundays. Harold's enthusiasm and dedication to his work helped attract a number of educated and highly motivated technical, marketing, and eventually international personnel. A photo taken during a meeting at Binks Manufacturing in Chicago to kick off their marketing of the REA gun mid-1960s. Among those present, front row, left to right, Pete Drum, Bill Smart, Chuck Toole, John Maxwell, Don Howarth, Harold Ransburg, and Dick Probst, all of Ransburg. The 1969 National Sales Meeting was in Miami. The Indiana Business Journal published an article about Harold Ransburg and the Ransburg Electro Coating Corporation in March 1964. The article focused on Ransburg's success during its first 20 years. Gunner Beef, shown here with his international department in 1968. Gunner, second from the left, established subsidiary companies in several European countries in the 1960s. He could speak eight languages. A corporate officer and international road warrior, John Maxwell, pictured in the Tokyo airport, was heavily involved in Ransburg's international expansion. By 1980, Ransburg had subsidiaries in these 10 countries outside the United States. John Maxwell, Milt Pleva, and Jack Snyder from Indianapolis meet with the officers and staff of Ransburg Canada Limited near Toronto. The opening ceremonies in 1963 at the Ransburg Japan Limited headquarters in Tokyo. Harold Ransburg receives a shovel from a Shinto priest to plant peonies from Indiana in front of the building. Barb Moggins is one of the witnesses. Ransburg Japan Limited, initially a joint venture company, began in this building. Ten years later, in 1973, Iwao Ogawa, president of Ransburg Japan Limited, greets guests at the company's 10th anniversary celebration. International participants in the 10th anniversary celebrations enjoy their Yukato kimonos. The principles of electrostatics were barely covered in schools and electrostatic painting was a whole new field. Consequently, Ransburg always maintained equipment and process training programs for employees, distributors, and customers. The instruction was given in fully equipped classrooms by personnel dedicated to training. In this photo, training manager Roy Nyman 
introduces the Ransberg Electro Powder Gun to Ransberg sales personnel. Another training scene, training manager Larry Utterbrack conducts a class on Ransberg electrostatic handguns for company and distributor personnel. Here, Gunnar Beeth, the Director of International Business mentioned earlier, receives his Certificate of Training Completion from Larry Utterback. Bob Stone and Emery Miller look on. Automatic Equipment Sales Engineers in Ransburg, Germany receive product training from Gerd Schaefer, Engineer. Ransburg was staffed in Germany with a well-trained and equipped sales and service team shown here in front of their headquarters near Frankfurt. Dieter Nossum, on the far right, was the factory trained service manager. Training and customer service are the themes mentioned above the outline map of West Germany showing how thoroughly Ransburg's field team covers the market. By the 1970s, Ransburg had a dozen subsidiaries worldwide performing sales and application engineering function for local markets. Some of these operations also did product development. To gather and disseminate product and marketing information, Ransburg periodically conducted multinational symposia to exchange information and ideas. One of the first such meetings recorded took place in Indianapolis in 1974. Here are the attendees that year. In 1976, the meeting was led by Don Kasich, Ransburg's newly elected president and CEO. Several European visitors are here in this 1990 photo. Here is Jim Scharfenberger exchanging information with President Ogawa-san at Japan Limited. After the long meeting, some Americans and Japanese are preparing to go out for a beer. In the 1990s, formal technical exchange teams for both liquid and powder technology were formed. The liquid team was led by Jim Scharfenberger, process technology manager shown here in the first row far left. Many of the powder team members were from Ransburg Gema in Switzerland. Their general manager was Peter Pelzel, the second person from the right end of the second row. Scientists from ITW's R&D Center participated in these meetings. Charlie Moore, Ransburg CEO and his management team in the early 90s. Over a period of 70 years, Ransburg occupied a series of ever larger and better office engineering and manufacturing facilities. As related earlier, the Harper J. Ransburg Company moved to this building in Indianapolis in 1924. The Harper J. Ransburg Company purchased this building at Barth Avenue in 1940, partly to house its new electro-coating division. This building, located near downtown Indianapolis, had been leased years earlier and was renovated in 1956 for Ransburg Electrocoating Corporation's R&D, handgun manufacturing, and legal departments. In 1953, Ransburg Electrocoating Corporation expanded its R&D department by renting the third floor of this building in the Maywood neighborhood. A number two process bell painting line for auto bodies was installed. After renovations to the Barth Avenue facility in 1953, these rather dark photos show first the reception area and then two views of the general office area. Another view. Built in 1956 on West 56th Street, this 80,000 square foot facility for sales, service labs, and automatic equipment manufacturing was occupied the following year. An aerial view of the West 56th Street facility showing additional manufacturing and warehousing space in the rear and a new headquarters building attached in the front. Here are glimpses of the evolution of electrostatic science, including Ransburg's deterring process and the number one process for electrostatic coating. Electrostatics is the study of stationary electric charges or fields as opposed to electric currents. A static charge can be created by rubbing a rubber comb with a dry wool cloth. As early as the 18th century, scientists were exploring the use of electrostatics to efficiently apply liquid sprays. This circa 1865 electrostatic generator 
was called an influence machine. Early electrostatic generators opened the doors to many areas of application. An example of a Van de Graaff generator for high voltage circa 1929. An air cleaning precipitator uses electrostatic attraction to remove pollution particles from an airstream. Invented by Cottrell circa 1907. A dry photocopying machine using electrostatic printing was invented and patented by Carlson circa 1938 to 42. This artist's drawing shows an early concept of an electrostatically charged spray operator and gun spraying grounded parts. A very unsafe approach because a static discharge could ignite the coating material. Here is a Harper J. Ransburg Company drawing of a precursor to the number one process, spraying through a grid charge to high voltage. Ransburg employee William Starkey demonstrates electrostatic detearing using a grid at high voltage to attract and pull off drops of excess paint after the part is dip coated. This process was patented and successfully commercialized. Here's an isometric drawing of a typical electrostatic detearing system. This photo shows one of the most typical uses for electrostatic detearing during World War II, removing paint drops from the mouth of artillery shells. Spray coating of manufactured articles using electrostatics began in 1940. There are many good reasons for electrostatic painting as listed here. Here's a plan view of a number one process painting system. Conventional air spray guns spray the paint upstream between the negatively charged electrodes and the grounded parts carried by the conveyor. A look at an isometric projection of a number one process system. The number one process employs indirect charging of the paint particles. Harold Ransberg shown demonstrating the number one process in this photo. A photo of the number one process painting water heater jackets. The Ransburg number two process technology utilizes bell and disc shaped rotary paint applicators. The rotating number two process bell applicator provided great versatility and broadened the applicable production uses. Harold's brother Ed Ransburg watches as number two process bell atomizers paint Harper J. Ransburg kitchen canister sets in 1950. Number two process bells painting toy cars. Emery Miller on the left and Jim Juvenal discuss triple head bells painting washing machine parts. Here the triple head bells are painting steel panels. These are vertically reciprocating bells painting refrigerator bodies. Hale Ransburg inspects a reciprocating bell. The automotive industry represented a major marketing opportunity. Here is a typical Ransburg test facility that simulated an automotive body coating line. This photo was taken in the HW Peabody Laboratory in London. Peabody was the British licensee. This shot taken in the same test lab shows a catch basin to collect flushed paint and cleaning solvents. A familiar car, large diameter electric driven bells painting Volkswagen Beetles in Wolfsburg, Germany. A more advanced method of changing colors in under 10 seconds using bells equipped with collection shrouds on this test line at the Indianapolis R&D facility in 1969. This is a lab test on an automotive hood and fender assembly using air motor driven bells, an advancement over electric driven. An ad depicting a half serrated bell atomizer showing the improvement in atomization of high solids paint. The serrated atomizing edge became an important patent. At the top, a photo of a Ransburg Turbo Bell high speed spray pattern and below a cutaway view of a turbine rotator. Another view of the fine spray patterns produced by high speed bells. A typical three bell top machine for painting the tops of car bodies. 
This is an oscillating machine for painting the sides of car bodies. A view of top and side machines in action at BMW at Dingolfing, Germany. For applying different colors, a panel of color change valves like this one is necessary. This is a schematic drawn in Germany of how a Ransberg fast color change system for car body painting operates. Automotive assembly plants had unique demands for changing paint color for almost every automobile body. This required the ability to change the coating color in under 10 seconds. The top coat line at Volkswagen Wolfsburg, Germany. Turbo Bells painting Honda car bodies in Marysville, Ohio. Bells installed at Fuji Heavy Industries, Japan. Mr. Yoshida, an engineer from Ransburg, Japan Limited, is installing electrostatic bells with color change shrouds at the Mazda plant in Flat Rock, Michigan. The number two process disc is our next subject. The tilted disc rotates but is otherwise stationary. It doesn't reciprocate up and down. It's used to coat small parts like lipstick tubes shown here, pin caps, golf balls, and so forth. The introduction of harder to atomize water base and high solids coatings dictated the need for higher rotational speeds when using rotary atomizers. Following the introduction of the high speed turbo bell, Ransberg introduced the turbo disc. We will see the disc can coat many shapes and sizes. Here's an artist's rendering of a typical overhead mounted reciprocating disc system. The details of a disc system, left to right, wall mounted paint pump, reciprocator controls, paint supply on its stand, paint pump, reciprocator with disc, electrical panel, and high voltage power supply. This overhead mounted reciprocating disc is coating long aluminum extrusions. LP gas containers are being painted here. This overhead disc is painting washing machine body parts. Surprisingly, non-conductive products can be electrostatically painted. To coat parts electrostatically, they must be electrically grounded. One way to coat electrically non-conductive parts is to apply RANSPREP, a chemical solution, which in the presence of humidity makes the surface conductive for electrostatic painting. For example, here is a tilted disc coating ladies' plastic shoe heels and a disc coating glass bottles. Note the bottles entering the conveyor loop on the left side are clear and become red as they pass around the disc. Coating wood gun stocks and coating plastic shutters. A collection of representative non-conductive parts coated electrostatically, often with the use of patented RANSPREP. To expand this product line and technology, Ransberg began developing a line of electrostatic spray guns. The number two process spray gun was introduced in the mid-1950s. In the 1960s, the REA, air atomization, and REH, high pressure or hydraulic atomization, as well as the REP, powder spray, were introduced. All guns are available in handheld as well as automatic versions. This is the number two handgun with 90,000 volt power supply. The number two is the most efficient painting gun ever made. It delivers 99% paint transfer efficiency. The number two handgun in action. Note the absence of overspray on an open target. This photo shows the almost invisible spray pattern coating all around metal tubes. On-site office furniture refinishing became the biggest market for the number two handgun because of its near 100 percent transfer efficiency. This is an early model of Ransberg Electro Air REA handgun which was introduced in 1962. The REA handgun shown painting air regulators combined electrostatic attraction with conventional air atomization. Careful measurements show that conventional air spray is at best only about 40% efficient in paint transfer. 
By contrast, electrostatic air spray is about 60% efficient, at least a 50% improvement over conventional spray. Randsburg, Germany used customer logo stickers to show the widespread use of the REA handgun in Europe. As a promotional tool, Randsburg, Germany developed this slide rule to help a potential electrostatic handgun customer choose the best gun based on their paint viscosity, conductivity, delivery rate, and atomization pressure. Here are several REA gun applications. A high delivery model REA gun touching up primer on a carbine. Can guns in various applications in Germany. REA gun performing color touch up on a carbine. Overhead mounted automatic REA gun painting top coat on a car hood. Auto REA gun mounted on Tralfa painting robot. An auto REA designed for use on a robot. The Ransberg Electrohydraulic REH spray gun is a parallel technology to the REA air atomizing gun. The REH gun utilizes high paint pressure to atomize the coating material as opposed to the REA which uses compressed air. The paint is supplied to the REH spray gun at pressures between from 500 to 2500 psi. This coating exits the gun through a spray tip designed to form either a fan or round shaped spray pack. The REH gun is also considered an airless gun. Its paint transfer efficiency is in the 60 to 80 percent range. Here it is painting a diesel engine. And here it is painting heavy farm machinery, a refrigerator body, and a flat panel. Note the smooth surface. Painting efficiency ranges from 15 to 99 percent for all types of paint spraying. Transfer efficiency is the percentage of paint sprayed which lands on the target. These percentages derive from hundreds of spray tests conducted by Ransberg and independent labs. A high voltage 60 kV negative DC power supply. Over the years, Ransberg developed and patented a variety of high voltage power sources for both automatic and manual spray systems. These are devices to test paint, high voltage and short circuit current. Ransberg developed several types of instruments to enable the end user to measure and calibrate the equipment and materials used in their coating system. To evaluate product performance and improve spray technology, Ransberg utilized state-of-the-art high-speed photography. In addition to its use in product development, this work was also used in a number of patent infringement lawsuits. The following are a few examples of this photography. An atomizer rotating at 900 RPM and charged to 100,000 volts DC forms cusps which break off into small negatively charged paint particles. Close-up shot of the cusps which break off into small negatively charged paint particles. High solids paint leaving a bell atomizer which has an edge half serrated and half non serrated. The difference is dramatic. REA gun using air to atomize and indirectly charge the paint particles. High speed photography was used to study and improve air and airless atomization. Paint from the nozzle of an REH gun is atomized by the extreme drop in fluid pressure when the paint leaves the nozzle orifice. From the very beginning, Ransberg had an aggressive patent protection program. Following Chester Carlson, who invented xerography, and Frederick G. Cottrell, who invented precipitators, Harold Ransberg was the third inventor to capitalize on the phenomenon of electrostatics. With electrostatics, he revolutionized spray painting and turned a division of his father's small kitchenware company into a major worldwide supplier of specialty industrial equipment with sales of over $300 million in 1989. Toward the end of its World War II business of leasing, deterring, and spray units to the defense producers, William Starkey, Harold Ransberg, brother Edwin Ransberg, 
and William Krauss invented and developed the number two process system which atomized and applied the paint using an electrostatic field. Starting in 1956, Ransburg had to defend its number two process patents in lawsuits all over the world. Ransburg won or successfully settled all such litigation. The equipment utilizing the patented process was marketed via leasing with monthly fees based on the user's paint savings. Those interested in the details of Ransburg's unique litigation success should refer to the book Patent Pending by Richard L. Yauswitz. Chapter 6 in this book recounts the huge success that Ransburg achieved by heavily investing in good people and R&D, aggressively pursuing patent coverage on new products and processes and successfully prosecuting infringers. The following images represent some of Ransburg's most significant patents. Earliest patent coverage of the number one process with auto spray guns filed June 1939. This patent helped establish Ransburg's early leadership in electrostatic spray finishing. This invention combined paint dip and electrostatic detearing in a patented process, which solved maintenance and safety issues involved in dip coating. This was the manual equivalent of the automatic number one process. It disclosed the means to use electrostatics in hand spray painting. This non-rotating Bell patent disclosed electrostatic atomization without centrifugal force. This patent was the first of many involving a rotating electrostatic atomizer. Here a Bell atomizer is driven by an outboard air motor. A triple head bell arrangement enabled better blending of the spray patterns and more even paint film build on the part being coated. This invention by Kurt Simmons, a Ransburg customer, combined the disc electrostatic atomizer with a hydraulic reciprocator, thus allowing the coating of long parts or racks of parts. This process opened new markets for disc applicators. Many Ransburg disc systems are in use and more being sold even though the patent expired over 30 years ago. A patent covering the number two handgun with a resistive high voltage circuit as utilized in all Ransburg handguns. Automatic REA gun with a needle high voltage electrode to improve transfer efficiency. In combination with the resistive safety circuit, this approach gave Ransburg a unique technological advantage. Handheld REA gun with resistive safety circuit. Ransburg Electro Powder REP gun with rotating bell diffuser. This gun also employed the resistive high voltage circuit. Ransburg made many contributions to the newer powder coating application field high-voltage grounding switch to avoid sparking in automatic non-resistive systems. Serrated atomizing edge to better atomize higher solids coatings introduced to reduce air pollution. Fold back safety circuit for cascade type high-voltage power supplies. Here is a partial list of electrostatic references. First, A.D. Moore's book on electrostatics. The Electrostatic Source Book. Lists introduced the Ransburg retirees responsible for this presentation. First, Jim Scharfenberger, Director of Research and Development, Liquid Electrostatic Operations. Next, Larry Utterback, Director of Training and Product Specialist. Next, Terry Duncan, Corporate VP and General Manager of Electrostatic Operations. In Europe, Gunter Flagg, on the right in this photo, was Manager of Automotive Systems. And last but far from least, Mitch Mitsui, Manager Automotive Systems Division, Ransburg, Japan. This has been dedicated to the many men and women who made the name Ransburg famous throughout the world and synonymous with electrostatic painting.